Blu-ray disc is a digital optical disc data storage format designed to supersede the DVD format, in that it is capable of storing high-definition video resolution. The plastic disc is 120mm in diameter and 1.2mm thick, the same size as DVDs and CDs. Conventional Blu-ray discs contain 25 RGB per layer, with dual-layer discs being the industry standard for feature-length video discs. Triple-layer discs and quadruple layers are available for BDXL rewriter drives. The name Blu-ray disc refers to the blue laser used to read the disc, which allows information to be stored at a greater density than is possible with the longer wavelength red laser used for DVDs. The major application of Blu-ray discs is as a medium for video material such as feature films and physical distribution of video games for the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Besides the hardware specifications, Blu-ray disc is associated with a set of multimedia formats. These formats allow for the option of video and audio to be stored with greater definition than on DVD. High definition video may be stored on Blu-ray discs with up to 1080p resolution, at up to 60 fields per second. Older DVD discs had a maximum resolution of 480p, or 576p. The format was developed by the Blu-ray Disc Association, a group representing makers of consumer electronics, computer hardware, and motion pictures. Sony unveiled the first Blu-ray Disc prototypes in October 2000, and the first prototype player was released in April 2003 in Japan. Afterwards, it continued to be developed until its official release in June 2006. As of June 2008, more than 2,500 Blu-ray disc titles were available in Australia and the United Kingdom, with 3,500 in the United States and Canada. In Japan, as of July 2010, more than 3,300 titles have been released. During the high-definition optical disc format war, Blu-ray disc competed with the HD DVD format. Toshiba, the main company that supported HD DVD, conceded in February 2008, releasing its own Blu-ray disc player in late 2009. History History, the information density of the DVD format was limited by the wavelength of the laser diodes used. Following protracted development, Blue laser diodes operating at 405 nanometers became available on a production basis. Sony started two projects in collaboration with Philips applying the new diodes, UDO, and DVR Blue, a format of rewritable discs that would eventually become Blu-ray disc. The core technologies of the formats are similar. The first DVR Blue prototypes were unveiled at the SeaTech exhibition in October 2000 by Sony. A trademark for the Blue Disc logo was filed February 9, 2001. On February 19, 2002, the project was officially announced as Blu-ray Disc, and Blu-ray Disc Founders was founded by the nine initial members. The first consumer device arrived in stores on April 10, 2003, the Sony BDZS77, a $3,800 Bermudian dollars RE recorder that was made available only in Japan. But there was no standard for pre recorded video, and no movies were released for this player. Hollywood studios insisted that players be equipped with digital rights management before they would release movies for the new format, and they wanted a new DRM system that would be more secure than the failed content scramble system used on DVDs. On October 4, 2004, the name Blu ray Disc Founders was officially changed to the Blu ray Disc Association and 20th Century Fox joined the BDA's board of directors. The Blu-ray disc physical specifications were completed in 2004. In January 2005, TDK announced that they had developed an ultra-hard yet very thin coating polymer for Blu-ray discs. This was a significant technical advance because a far tougher protection was desired in the consumer market to protect bare discs against scratching and damage compared to DVD, while technically Blu-ray disc required a much thinner layer for the denser and higher frequency blue laser. Cartridges, originally used for scratch protection, were no longer necessary and were scrapped. The BD-ROM specifications were finalized in early 2006. AACSLA, a consortium founded in 2004, 
had been developing the DRM platform that could be used to securely distribute movies to consumers. However, the final AACS standard was delayed, and then delayed again when an important member of the Blu-ray disc group voiced concerns. At the request of the initial hardware manufacturers, including Toshiba, Pioneer, and Samsung, an interim standard was published that did not include some features, such as managed copy. Launch and sales developments The first BD ROM players were shipped in mid June 2006, though HD DVD players beat them to market by a few months. The first Blu ray disc titles were released on June 20, 2006, Fifty First Dates, The Fifth Element, Hitch, House of Flying Daggers, Twister, Underworld, Evolution, XXX, and MGM's The Terminator. The earliest releases used MPEG-2 video compression, the same method used on standard DVDs. The first releases using the newer VC-1 and AVC formats were introduced in September 2006. The first movies using 50 GB dual-layer discs were introduced in October 2006. The first audio-only albums were released in May 2008. The first mass-market Blu-ray disc rewritable drive for the PC was the BWU-100A, released by Sony on July 18, 2006. It recorded both single and dual-layer BDRS as well as BDREs and had a suggested retail price of US$699. Competition from HD DVD The DVD forum, chaired by Toshiba, was split over whether to develop the more expensive blue laser technology. In March 2002, the forum approved a proposal endorsed by Warner Brothers and other motion picture studios that involved compressing HD content onto dual-layer standard DVD-9 discs. In spite of this decision, however, the DVD forum's steering committee announced in April that it was pursuing its own blue laser high-definition video solution. In August, Toshiba and NEC announced their competing standard, Advanced Optical Disc. It was finally adopted by the DVD forum and renamed HD DVD the next year, after being voted down twice by DVD forum members who were also Blu-ray Disc Association members a Euro a situation that drew preliminary investigations by the U.S. Department of Justice. HD DVD had a head start in the high-definition video market, as Blu-ray Disc sales were slow to gain market share. The first Blu-ray Disc player was perceived as expensive and buggy, and there were few titles available. The appearance of the Sony PlayStation 3, which contained a Blu-ray disc player for primary storage, helped support Blu-ray. Sony also ran a more thorough and influential marketing campaign for the format. 2006 also saw the launch of AVC HD camcorders, whose recordings can be played back on many Blu-ray disc players without re-encoding, but not on HD DVD players. By January 2007, Blu-ray discs had outsold HD DVDs, and during the first three quarters of 2007, BD outsold HD DVD by about 2 to 1. At CES 2007, Warner proposed Total High DFAR Euro a hybrid disc containing Blu-ray on one side and HD DVD on the other, but it was never released. In a June 28, 2007 press release, 20th Century Fox cited Blu-ray Disc's adoption of the BD Plus the anti-copying system as key to their decision to support the Blu-ray Disc format. On January 4, 2008, a day before CES 2008, Warner Brothers announced that it would release only in Blu-ray Disc after May 2008. This effectively included other studios that came under the Warner umbrella, such as New Line Cinema and Boa Euro though in Europe, HBO distribution partner. The BBC announced it would, while keeping an eye on market forces, continue to release product on both formats. This led to a chain reaction in the industry, with major U.S. retailers such as Best Buy, Walmart, and Circuit City and Canadian chains such as Future Shop dropping HD DVD in their stores. A then major European retailer, Woolworths, dropped HD DVD from its inventory. Netflix and Blockbuster a Euro major DVD rental companies a Euro said they would no longer carry HD DVD. Following these new developments, on February 19, 2008, Toshiba announced it would end production of HD DVD devices, 
allowing Blu-ray disc to become the industry standard for high-density optical discs. Universal Studios, the sole major movie studio to back HD DVD since its inception, said shortly after Toshiba's announcement, while Universal values the close partnership we have shared with Toshiba, it is time to turn our focus to releasing new and catalog titles on Blu-ray disc. Paramount Pictures, which started releasing movies only in HD DVD format during late 2007, also said it would start releasing in Blu-ray disc. Both studios announced initial Blu-ray lineups in May 2008. With this, all major Hollywood studios supported Blu-ray. Future prospects and market trends, according to media research, high-definition software sales in the U.S. were slower in the first two years than DVD software sales 16.3 million DVD software units were sold in the first two years compared to 8.3 million high-definition software units. One reason given for this difference was the smaller marketplace. Former HD DVD supporter Microsoft has stated that they are not planning to make a Blu-ray disc drive for the XBO X360. The 360 successor XBO X1 features a Blu-ray drive but as with the PS4, does not support 3D Blu-ray. This may change with later firmware updates however. Shortly after the format war ended, Blu-ray disc sales began to increase. A study by the NPD Group found that awareness of Blu-ray disc had reached 60% of U.S. households. Nielsen video scan sales numbers showed that for some titles, such as 20th Century Fox's Hitman, up to 14% of total disc sales were from Blu-ray, although the average Blu-ray sales for the first half of the year were only around 5%. In December 2008, the Blu-ray disc version of The Dark Knight sold 600,000 copies on the first day of its launch in the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom. A week after the launch, The Dark Knight BD has sold over 1.7 million copies worldwide, making it the first Blu-ray disc title to sell over a million copies in the first week of release. According to Singulus Technologies AG, Blu-ray is being adopted faster than the DVD format was at a similar period in its development. This conclusion was based on the fact that Singulus Technologies has received orders for 21 Blu-ray dual-layer machines during the first quarter of 2008, while 17 DVD machines of this type were made in the same period in 1997. According to GFK Retail and Technology, in the first week of November 2008, sales of Blu-ray recorders surpassed DVD recorders in Japan. According to the Digital Entertainment Group, the total number of Blu-ray disc playback devices sold in the U.S. had reached 28.5 million by the end of 2010. Blu-ray faces competition from video on demand and from new technologies that allow access to movies on any format or device, such as digital entertainment content ecosystem or Disney's Keychist. Some commentators have suggested that renting Blu-ray will play a vital part in keeping the technology affordable while allowing it to move forward. In an effort to increase sales, studios are releasing movies in combo packs with Blu-ray discs and DVDs as well as digital copies that can be played on computers and iPods. Some are released on flipper discs with Blu-ray on one side and DVD on the other. Other strategies are to release movies with the special features only on Blu-ray discs and none on DVDs. Ongoing Development Although the Blu-ray disc specification has been finalized, engineers continue to work on advancing the technology. By 2005, quad-layer discs had been demonstrated on a drive with modified optics and standard unaltered optics. Hitachi stated that such a disc could be used to store 7 hours of 32 Mbit S video or 3 hours and 30 minutes of 64 Mbit S video. In August 2006, TDK announced that they had created a working experimental Blu-ray disc capable of holding 200 GB of data on a single side, using 633 GB data layers. Also, behind closed doors at CES 2007, Retech revealed that they had successfully developed a high-definition optical disc process that extends the disc capacity to 10 layers, which increases the capacity of the discs to 250 GB. However, they noted that the major obstacle is that current read-write technology does not support the additional layers. 
JVC has developed a three-layer technology that allows putting both standard definition DVD data and HD data on a BD slash standard DVD combination. If successfully commercialized, this would enable the consumer to purchase a disc that can be played on DVD players and can also reveal its HD version when played on a BD player. Japanese optical disc manufacturer Infinity announced the first hybrid Blu-ray disc slash standard DVD combo to be released February 18, 2009. This disc set of the TV series Code Blue featured four hybrid discs containing a single Blu-ray disc layer and two DVD layers on the same side of the disc. In January 2007, Hitachi showcased a 100 GB Blu-ray disc consisting of four layers containing 25 GB each. Unlike TDK and Panasonic's 100 GB discs, they claim this disc is readable on standard Blu-ray disc drives that are currently in circulation, and it is believed that a firmware update is the only requirement to make it readable to current players and drives. In December 2008, Pioneer Corporation unveiled a 400 GB Blu-ray disc that will be compatible with current players after a firmware update. Its planned launch is in the 2009 Euro 10 timeframe for ROM and 2010 Euro 13 for rewritable discs. Ongoing development is underway to create a 1 TB Blu ray disc as soon as 2013. At CES 2009, Panasonic unveiled the DMPB 15, the first portable Blu ray disc player, and Sharp introduced the LCBD 60U and LCBD 80U series the first LCD HD TVs with integrated Blu-ray disc players. Sharp has also announced that they will sell HD TVs with integrated Blu-ray disc recorders in the United States by the end of 2009. Set-top box recorders are not being sold in the US due to fears of piracy. However, personal computers with Blu-ray recorder drives are available. On January 1, 2010, Sony, in association with Panasonic, announced plans to increase the storage capacity on their Blu-ray discs from 25 GB to 33.4 GB via a technology called IMLSE. The higher capacity discs, according to Sony, will be readable on current Blu-ray disc players with a firmware upgrade. No date has been set to include the increased space, although in 2010 Blue-Ray.com reported that it will likely happen sometime later this year. On July 20, 2010, the research team of Sony and Japanese Tohoku University announced the joint development of a blue-violet laser, which will help in creating Blu-ray discs with a capacity of 1 terabyte using only two layers. By comparison, the first blue laser was invented in 1996, with the first prototype discs coming four years later. On January 7, 2013, Sony announced that it would release mastered and 4K Blu-ray disc titles which are sourced at 4K and encoded at 1080p. Mastered and 4K Blu-ray disc titles can be played on existing Blu-ray disc players and will support a larger color space using XVYCC. On January 14, 2013, Blu-ray Disc Association President, Andy Parsons, stated that a task force was created three months prior to conduct a study concerning an extension to the Blu-ray disc specification that would add support for 4K Ultra HD video, physical media, laser and optics, while a DVD uses a 650nm red laser, Blu-ray disc uses a 405nm blue laser diode. Note that even though the laser is called blue, its color is actually in the violet range. The shorter wavelength can be focused to a smaller area, thus enabling it to read information recorded in pits that are less than half the size of those on a DVD, and can consequently be spaced more closely, resulting in a shorter track pitch, enabling a Blu-ray disc to hold about five times the amount of information that can be stored on a DVD. The lasers are GAN laser diodes that produce 405 nm light directly, that is, without frequency doubling or other nonlinear optical mechanisms. Conventional DVDs use 650 nm red lasers, and CDs use 780 nm near-infrared lasers. The minimum spot size on which a laser can be focused is limited by diffraction, and depends on the wavelength of the light and the numerical aperture of the lens used to focus it. By decreasing the wavelength, Increasing the numerical aperture from 0.60 to 0.85, 
and making the cover layer thinner to avoid unwanted optical effects, the laser beam can be focused to a smaller spot, which effectively allows more information to be stored in the same area. For Blu-ray disc, the spot size is 580 nm. This allows a reduction of the pit size from 400 nm for DVD to 150 nm for Blu-ray disc, and of the track pitch from 740 nm to 320 nm. See Compact Disc for information on optical disc's physical structure. In addition to the optical improvements, Blu-ray discs feature improvements in data encoding that further increase the amount of content that can be stored. Hard Coating Technology Since the Blu-ray disc data layer is closer to the surface of the disc compared to the DVD standard, it was at first more vulnerable to scratches. The first discs were housed in cartridges for protection, resembling professional discs introduced by Sony in 2003. Using a cartridge would increase the price of an already expensive medium, so hard coating of the pickup surface was chosen instead. TDK was the first company to develop a working scratch protection coating for Blu-ray discs. It was named Durabus. In addition, both Sony and Panasonic's replication methods include proprietary hard coat technologies. Sony's rewritable media was spin coated, using a scratch resistant and anti-static coating. Verbatim's recordable and rewritable Blu-ray discs use their own proprietary technology, called hard coat. The Blu-ray disc specification requires the testing of resistance to scratches by mechanical abrasion. In contrast, DVD media are not required to be scratch resistant, but since development of the technology, some companies, such as Verbatim, implemented hard coating for more expensive lineups of recordable DVDs. Drive speeds, if a USB 2.0 interface is used, the maximum drive speed is 288 Mbit S or 36 MB per second. A USB 3.0 interface does not have this limitation, and is capable of handling Blu-ray drive speeds far in excess of what is currently possible. The 5.25-inch width Blu-ray drives for desktop computer drive bays have a serial ATA interface. Even the oldest version of SATA has a transfer rate of 1.2 Agbit S, which is more than twice the demand of the 16A speed. Interface speeds commonly advertise their total throughput, which includes overheads such as the encoding scheme or error correction. Only the actual transfer speeds should be used to compare the interface with the drive speed. Packaging Pre-recorded Blu-ray disc titles usually ship in packages similar but slightly smaller than a standard DVD keep case, generally with the format prominently displayed in a horizontal stripe across the top of the case. PlayStation 4 and XBOX1 introduced new packaging for their games. Unlike the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 now has blue cases much like the regular Blu-ray disc cases, while XBOX1 introduced a green case for their games. Variants, Mini Blu-ray Disc, the Mini Blu-ray Disc is a compact 8cm diameter variant of the Blu-ray Disc that can store approximately 7.8 GB of data. It is similar in concept to the Mini DVD and Mini CD. Recordable and rewritable versions of Mini Blu-ray Disc have been developed specifically for compact camcorders and other compact recording devices. Blu-ray Disc Recordable Blu-ray disc recordable refers to two optical disc formats that can be recorded with an optical disc recorder. BDRS can be written to once, whereas BDREs can be erased and re-recorded multiple times. The current practical maximum speed for Blu-ray discs is about 12A. Higher speeds of rotation cause too much wobble for the discs to be written properly, as with the 20A and 52A maximum speeds, respectively of standard DVDs and CDs. Since September 2007, BDRE is also available in the smaller 8CM mini Blu-ray disc size. On September 18, 2007, Pioneer and Mitsubishi co-developed BDRLTH, which features an organic die recording layer that can be manufactured by modifying existing CDR and DVDR production equipment, significantly reducing manufacturing costs. In February 2008, Taiya Yudan, Mitsubishi, and Maxil released the first BDRLTH discs, and in March 2008, 
Sony's PlayStation 3 gained official support for BDRLTH discs with a 2.20 firmware update. In May 2009 Verbata Mitsubishi announced the industry's first 6X BDRLTH media, which allows recording a 25 GB disc in about 16 minutes. Unlike the previous releases of 120mm optical discs, Blu-ray recorders hit the market almost simultaneously with Blu-ray's debut. BD9 and BD5 The BD9 format was proposed to the Blu-ray Disc Association by Warner Home Video as a cost-effective alternative to the 2550th of GB BD ROM discs. The format was supposed to use the same codecs and program structure as Blu-ray Disc Video, but recorded onto less expensive 8.5 a GB dual-layer DVD. This red laser media could be manufactured on existing DVD production lines with lower costs of production than the 2550th a GB Blu-ray media. Usage of BD9 for releasing content on press discs has never caught on. After the end of the format war, major producers ramped up the production of Blu-ray discs and lowered their prices to the level of DVDs. On the other hand, the idea of using an expensive DVD media became popular among individual users. A lower capacity version of this format that uses single layer 4.7 AGB DVDs has been unofficially called BD5. Both formats are being used by individuals for recording high definition content in Blu ray format onto recordable DVD media. Despite the fact that the BD9 format has been adopted as part of the BD ROM basic format, none of the existing Blu-ray player models support it explicitly. As such, the discs recorded in BD9 and BD5 formats are not guaranteed to play on standard Blu-ray disc players. AVC-HD and AVC-REC also use inexpensive media like DVDs, but unlike BD9 and BD5 these formats have limited interactivity, codec types, and data rates. As of March 2011, BD9 was removed as an official BD ROM disc. BDXL The BDXL format supports 100 GB and 128 GB write once discs and 100 GB rewritable discs for commercial applications. It was defined in June 2010. BDA 3.0 format specification defined a multi layered disc recordable in BDAV format with the speed of 2A and 4A capable of 100-128 a GB and usage of UDF 2.5-2.6. BDRE 4.0 format specification defined a multi-layered disk rewritable in BDAV with the speed of 2A and 4A, capable of 100 a GB and usage of UDF 2.5 as file system. IHBD the IHBD format includes a 25 a GB rewritable layer and a 25 a GB write once layer designed to work with existing Blu-ray discs. Software standards, file system, Blu-ray disc specifies the use of Universal Disc Format 2.50 as a convergent-friendly format for both PC and consumer electronics environments. It is used in the latest specifications of BD-ROM, BDRE and BDR. In the first BDRE specification, the BDFS was used. The BDRE 1.0 specification was defined mainly for the digital recording of high-definition television broadcast television. The BDFS was replaced by UDF 2.50 in the second BDRE specification in 2005, in order to enable interoperability among consumer electronics Blu-ray recorders and personal computer systems. These optical disc recording technologies enable PC recording and playback of BDRE. BDR can use UDF 2.50-2.60. The Blu-ray disc application for recording of digital broadcasting has been developed as System Description Blu-ray Rewritable Disc Format Part 3 Audio Visual Basic Specifications. The requirements related with computer file system have been specified in System Description Blu-ray Rewritable Disc Format Part 2 File System Specifications Version 1.0. Initially, the BDRE version 1.0 was specifically developed for recording of digital broadcasting using the Blu-ray disc application. To support UDF, these requirements are superseded by the Blu-ray rewritable disc file system specifications version 2.0 and Blu-ray recordable disc file system specifications version 1.0.
Additionally, a new application format, BDMV for high-definition content distribution was developed for BD-ROM. The only file system developed for BDMV is the System Description Blu-ray Read-Only Disk Format Part 2 File System Specifications Version 1.0 which defines the requirements for UDF 2.50. Directory and File Structure All BD-ROM application files are stored under AA Euro OE BDMV A Euro Directory. BDMV Directory contains the playlist, clipinf, stream, outdata and backup directories. Playlist Directory contains the database files for movie playlists, xxxxxmpls files, store information corresponding to movie playlists. One file is created for each movie playlist. The file names of these files are in the former Euro OEXXXXXMPLSA Euro, where a Euro OEXXXXR Euro is a five digit number corresponding to the movie playlist. Clipinf directory contains the database files for clips. ZZZZZCLPI files store clip information associated with a clip avenue stream file. The file names of these files are in the former Euro OEZZZZZCLPIA Euro, where a Euro O as a Euro is a five digit number corresponding to the clip. Stream directory contains AV stream files. ZZZZZM2TS file contains a BDAV MPEG2 transport stream. The names of these files are in the former Euro OEZZZZZM2ZAR Euro where a Euro O as a Euro is a five-digit number corresponding to the clip. The same five-digit number a Euro O as a Euro is used for an AV stream file and its associated clip information file. SSIF directory, if used, stereoscopic interleaved files shall be placed under this directory, ZZZZZSIF file, is a stereoscopic interleaved file that is composed from two BDAV MPEG2 transport streams. Both of the streams include an MPEG4 MVC view video stream for left eye or right eye respectively. This file is used only when 3D video is played back. The five digit number a Euro O as a Euro is the same as the number used for the AV stream file a Euro OEZZZZZM2ZAR Euro that includes the MPEG4 MVC base view video stream. Our data directory contains sound data files and font files. Sound BDMV file stores data relating to one or more sounds associated with HDMV interactive graphics streams applications. This file may or may not exist under the OWDATA directory. If it exists, there shall be only one sound BDMV file. Our IOTF file stores the font information associated with text subtitle applications. The names of these files are in the former Euro or IOT for Euro where a Euro OELI Euro is a five-digit number corresponding to the font. Backup directory contains copies of the index BDMV A Euro file, the A Euro OE movie object BDMV A Euro file, all the files in the playlist directory and all files in the clipinf directory, index BDMV file, stores information describing the contents of the BDMV directory. There is only one index BDMV file under the BDMV directory. Movie object BDMV file stores information for one or more movie objects. There is only one movie object BDMV under the BDMV directory. Media format, container format, audio, video and other streams are multiplexed and stored on Blu-ray discs in a container format based on the MPEG transport stream. It is also known as BDAV MPEG2 transport stream and can use file name extension M2TS. Blu-ray disc titles authored with menu support are in the BDMV format and contain audio, video, and other streams in BDAV container. There is also the BDAV format, the consumer-oriented alternative to the BDMV format used for movie releases. The BDAV format is used on BDREs and BDRS for audio video recording. BDMV format was later defined also for BDRE and BDR. Blu ray disc employs the MPEG transport stream recording method that enables transport streams of digital broadcasts to be recorded as they are broadcast, without altering the format. 
It also enables flexible editing of a digital broadcast that is recorded as is and where the data can be edited just by rewriting the playback stream. Although it is quite natural, a function for high-speed and easy-to-use retrieval is built in. Blu-ray disc video use MPEG transport streams, compared to DVD's MPEG program streams. This allows multiple video programs to be stored in the same file so they can be played back simultaneously. Codecs, the BD-ROM specification mandates certain codec compatibilities for both hardware decoders and movie software. Windows Media Player does not come with the codecs required to play Blu-ray discs. Video, high-definition video may be stored on BD rooms with up to 1920A, 1080 pixel resolution at up to 60 fields per second. Officially, progressive scan video can go up to 1920A, 1080 pixel resolution at 24 frames per second, or up to 59.94 frames per second at a resolution of 1280A. 720 pixels. Many current Blu-ray players and recorders now support 1920A, 1080 video at the full 60p and 50p progressive format. And all frame rates are properly listed in frames per second. Some manufacturers will list field rate for interlaced material, but this is incorrect industry practice. To avoid confusion, only frame rates should ever be listed. BMPEG2 at 1440A. 1080 was previously not supported in a draft version of the specification from March 2005. For video, all players are required to support H262 slash MPEG2 Part 2, H264 slash MPEG4 Part 10, AVC, and SMPTEVC1. BD-ROM titles with video must store video using one of the three mandatory formats. Multiple formats on a single title are allowed. Blu-ray Disc supports video with a bit depth of 8 bits per color YCBC or with 420 chroma subsampling. The choice of formats affects the producer's licensing royalty costs as well as the title's maximum run time, due to differences in compression efficiency. Discs encoded in MPEG2 video typically limit content producers to around 2 hours of high-definition content on a single layer BD-ROM. The more advanced video formats typically achieve a video runtime twice that of MPEG2, with comparable quality. MPEG2 was used by many studios for the first series of Blu-ray discs, which were launched throughout 2006. Modern releases are now often encoded in either MPEG4 AVC or VC1, allowing film studios to place all content on one disc, reducing costs and improving ease of use. Using these formats also frees a lot of space for storage of bonus content in HD, as opposed to the SD typically used for most titles. Some studios, such as Warner Brothers, have released bonus content on discs encoded in a different format than the main feature title. For example, the Blu-ray disc release of Superman Returns uses VC1 for the feature film and MPEG2 for some of its bonus content. Today. Warner and other studios typically provide bonus content in the video format that matches the feature. Audio, for audio, BD-ROM players are required to support Dolby Digital, DTS, and Linear PCM. Players may optionally support Dolby Digital Plus and DTS HD High Resolution Audio as well as lossless formats Dolby True HD and DTS HD Master Audio. BD-ROM titles must use one of the mandatory schemes for the primary soundtrack. A secondary audio track, if present, may use any of the mandatory or optional codecs. Bit rate, for users recording digital television programming, the recordable Blu-ray disc standard's initial data rate of 36 Mbit S is more than adequate to record high-definition broadcasts from any source. BD video movies have a maximum data transfer rate of 54 Mbit S, a maximum AV bit rate of 48 Mbit S, and a maximum video bit rate of 40 Mbit S. This compares to HD DVD movies, which have a maximum data transfer rate of 36 Mbit S, a maximum AV bit rate of 30.24 Mbit S, and a maximum video bit rate of 29.4 Mbit S. Application Format, BDAV or BDAV a consumer-oriented Blu-ray video format used for audio-video recording. BDMV or BDMV, 
a Blu-ray video format with menu support commonly used for movie releases. BDMV recording specification. A RREF, a subset of BDMV designed for real-time recording and editing applications. HFPA, a high-definition audio disc using the Blu-ray format, Java software support. At the 2005 Java One trade show, it was announced that Sun Microsystems' Java cross-platform software environment would be included in all Blu-ray disc players as a mandatory part of the standard. Java is used to implement interactive menus on Blu-ray discs, as opposed to the method used on DVD video discs. DVDs use pre-rendered MPEG segments and selectable subtitle pictures, which are considerably more primitive and rarely seamless. At the conference, Java creator James Gosling suggested that the inclusion of a Java virtual machine, as well as network connectivity in some BD devices, will allow updates to Blu-ray discs via the Internet, adding content such as additional subtitle languages and promotional features not included on the disc at pressing time. This Java version is called BDJ and is built on a profile of the globally executable MHP standard. GEM is the worldwide version of the multimedia home platform standard. Player profiles, the BD-ROM specification defines four Blu-ray disc player profiles, including an audio-only player profile that does not require video decoding or BDJ. All of the video-based player profiles are required to have a full implementation of BDJ, with varying levels of hardware support. A this is used for storing audio video and title updates. It can either be built-in memory or removable media, such as a memory card or USB flash memory. BA secondary audio decoder is typically used for interactive audio and commentary. C Profile 3.0 is a separate audio-only player profile. The first Blu-ray disc album to be released was Divertimenti, by record label Lindbergh Lide, and it has been confirmed to work on the PS3. D also known as Initial Standard Profile. E also known as Final Standard Profile. On November 2, 2007, the Grace Period Profile was superseded by Bonus View as the minimum profile for new BD video players released to the market. When Blu-ray disc software not authored with interactive features dependent on Bonus View or BD Live hardware capabilities is played on Profile 1.0 players, it is able to play the main feature of the disc but some extra features may not be available or will have limited capability. BD Live The biggest difference between Bonus View and BD Live is that BD Live requires the Blu-ray disc player to have an Internet connection to access Internet-based content. BD Live features have included Internet chats, scheduled chats with the director, Internet games, downloadable featurettes, downloadable quizzes, and downloadable movie trailers. Note that while some bonus view players may have an Ethernet port, these are used for firmware updates and are not used for Internet-based content. In addition, Profile 2.0 also requires more local storage in order to handle this content. With the exception of the latest players in the PlayStation 3, Profile 1.0 players cannot be upgraded to be bonus view or BD Live compliant. Region Codes as with the implementation of region codes for DVDs, Blu-ray disc players sold in a specific geographical region are designed to play only discs authorized by the content provider for that region. This is intended to permit content providers to do effective price differentiation between regions. According to the Blu-ray Disc Association, all Blu-ray disc players and Blu-ray disc equipped computer systems are required to support regional coding. However, Use of region playback codes is optional for content providers. Some current estimates suggest 70% of available, movie Blu-ray discs from the major studios are region code free and can therefore be played on any Blu-ray disc player, in any region. Movie studios have different region coding policies. Among major US studios, Warner Brothers, Paramount Pictures, Universal Studios, Sony Pictures, and Walt Disney Pictures have released most of their titles region-free. MGM and Lionsgate Entertainment have released a mix of region-free and region-coded titles. 20th Century Fox has released most of their titles region-coded. The Blu-ray Disc Region Coding Scheme divides the world into three regions, labeled A, B, and C. 
in circumvention of region coding restrictions, standalone Blu-ray disc players are sometimes modified by third parties to allow for playback of Blu-ray discs with any region code. Instructions describing how to reset the Blu-ray region counter of computer player applications to make them multi-region indefinitely are also regularly posted to video enthusiast websites and forums. Unlike DVD region codes, Blu-ray region codes are verified only by the player software, not by the optical drive's firmware. Digital Rights Management The Blu-ray disc format employs several layers of digital rights management which restrict the usage of the discs. This has led to extensive criticism of the format by organizations opposed to DRM, such as the Free Software Foundation, and consumers due to new releases requiring player firmware updates before allowing disc playback. High bandwidth digital content protection, Blu-ray equipment is required to implement the high bandwidth digital content protection system to encrypt the data sent by players to rendering devices through physical connections. This is aimed at preventing the copying of copyrighted content as it travels across cables. Through a protocol flag in the media stream called the Image Constraint Token, a Blu-ray disc can enforce its reproduction in a lower resolution whenever a full HDCP compliant link is not used. In order to ease the transition to high definition formats, the adoption of this protection method was postponed until 2011. Advanced Access Content System the Advanced Access Content System is a standard for content distribution and digital rights management. It was developed by AS Licensing Administrator, LLC, a consortium that includes Disney, Intel, Microsoft, Panasonic, Warner Brothers, IBM, Toshiba, and Sony. Since the appearance of the format on devices in 2006, several successful attacks have been made on it. The first known attack relied on the trusted client problem. In addition, decryption keys have been extracted from a weakly protected player. Since keys can be revoked in newer releases, this is only a temporary attack, and new keys must continually be discovered in order to decrypt the latest disks. BD+, BD+, was developed by Cryptography Research Incorporated and is based on their concept of self-protecting digital content. BD+, effectively a small virtual machine embedded in authorized players, allows content providers to include executable programs on Blu-ray discs. Such programs can examine the host environment to see if the player has been tampered with. Every licensed playback device manufacturer must provide the BD+, licensing authority with memory footprints that identify their devices. Verify that the player's keys have not been changed execute native code, possibly to patch an otherwise insecure system, transform the audio and video output. Parts of the content will not be viewable without letting the BD Plus program unscramble it. If a playback device manufacturer finds that its devices have been hacked, it can potentially release BD Plus code that detects and circumvents the vulnerability. These programs can then be included in all new content releases. The specifications of the BD Plus virtual machine are available only to licensed device manufacturers. A list of licensed commercial adopters is available from the BD Plus website. The first titles using BD Plus were released in October 2007. Since November 2007, versions of BD Plus protection have been circumvented by various versions of the Any DVD HD program. Other programs known to be capable of circumventing BD Plus protection are Dump HD, Make MKV, and two applications from DVD FAB. BD Remark BD Remark is a small amount of cryptographic data that is stored separately from normal Blu ray disc data, aiming to prevent replication of the discs. The cryptographic data is needed to decrypt the copyrighted disc content protected by AACS. A specially licensed piece of hardware is required to insert the remark into the media during mastering. During replication, this remark is transferred together with the recorded data to the disk. In consequence, any copies of a disk made with a regular recorder will lack the remark data, and will be unreadable on standard players. Backward compatibility, though not compulsory. The Blu-ray Disc Association recommends that Blu-ray disc drives be capable of reading standard DVDs and CDs, 
for backward compatibility. A few early Blu-ray disc players released in 2006 could play DVDs but not CDs. Variations, AVCHD. AVCHD was originally developed as a high-definition format for consumer tapeless camcorders. Derived from the Blu-ray disc specification, AVCHD shares a similar random access directory structure, but is restricted to lower audio and video bit rates, simpler interactivity, and the use of AVC video and Dolby AC3 audio. Being primarily an acquisition format, AVCHD playback is not universally supported by all devices that support Blu-ray disc playback. Nevertheless, many such devices are capable of playing AVCHD recordings from removable media, such as DVDs, SDSDHC memory cards, memory stick cards, and hard disk drives. AVCREC AVCREC uses a BDAV container to record high-definition content on conventional DVDs. Presently AVCREC is tightly integrated with the Japanese ISDB broadcast standard and is not marketed outside of Japan. AVCREC is used primarily in set-top digital video recorders and in this regard is comparable to HD Rec. Blu-ray 3D the Blu-ray Disc Association created a task force made up of executives from the film industry and the consumer electronics and IT sectors to help define standards for putting 3D film and 3D television content on a Blu-ray disc. On December 17, 2009, the BDA officially announced 3D specs for Blu-ray disc, allowing backward compatibility with current 2D Blu-ray players. The BDA has said, the Blu-ray 3D specification calls for encoding 3D video using the stereo high profile defined by multiview video coding, an extension to the ITU-TH264 advanced video coding codec currently supported by all Blu-ray disc players. MPEG-4 MVC compresses both left and right eye views with a typical 50% overhead compared to equivalent 2D content and can provide full 1080p resolution backward compatibility with current 2D Blu-ray disc players. This means the MVC stream is backward compatible with H264 slash AVC stream, allowing older 2D devices and software to decode stereoscopic video streams, ignoring additional information for the second view. Sony has released a firmware upgrade for PlayStation 3 consoles that enables 3D Blu-ray disc playback. It previously released support for 3D gaming on April 21, 2010 since the version 3.70 software update in August 9, 2011, the PlayStation 3 can support DTS-HD Master Audio and DTS-HD High Resolution Audio while playing 3D Blu-ray. Dolby True HD is used on a small minority of Blu-ray 3D releases, and bit streaming is supported by slim PlayStation 3 models only. See also References External links, Blu-ray Disc Association, Blu-ray Disc Association's Technical White Papers, Blu-ray Disc License Office, AACS LAR